Hello, my name is Mainul, Quality Analyst for Maestro Digital Mind. So the next step is calibrating your gas sensor using the web, using the web page. As mentioned in our checklist video, we have two gas calibration bottles or cylinders, zero gas and span gas. To calibrate using the web page, we need a laptop with a network cable. To calibrate the sensor, we need to start with a zero gas first. You can perform zero gas for all the sensors except the oxygen sensor. So let's start the calibration. Connect the regulator to the gas calibration button. Make sure that there is sufficient gas available in the bottle. The regulator provided by Maestro has a gauge that indicates the pressure that relates to the amount of gas available in the gas bottle. Turn on the laptop and reach to the Vigilante AQS2 web page in the browser. In this video, I'm going to use the service port to connect the Vigilante AQS2 on 169.254.2.2 IP address. For more information about connecting the Vigilante AQS2, refer to the Vigilante AQS2 user manual. Now log in to Vigilante AQS2 using the username and password. The default username and password are admin and admin. After a successful login, you will see the dashboard. On the side navigation bar, click on Diagnostics and then Gas. This will show all the diagnostics information about the sensors. Now click on CO and view the diagnostic information. As you can see here, you can find the calibration table with all the calibration sheets. For the carbon monoxide 500 ppm sensor, I will start with the zero calibration. First, we will remove the first we will remove the protective cap off and attach the calibration cup. Now I will attach the regulator to the zero gas bottle and turn it on. On the gas sensor diagnostics web page, you can see the real time values and wait for three minutes. After three minutes, I will click on the new calibration bottle available under the calibration section. This will open a pop-up window and ask for some information such as gas manufacturer calibrated by NIST, lot number, expiry date, and etc. Now I will write all this information. This record will be used to generate a calibration PDF. As you can see, the gas sensor started calibration. Now we will wait for the progress circle to go 100%. After a successful calibration, refresh the page. And you can see a zero calibration PDF. The next step is to perform a span calibration. For that, we will remove the zero gas bottle and plug in a span gas bottle. Make sure that the calibration bottle is valid by verifying the expiration date. Once everything is connected, make sure that the calibration cup is properly connected to the sensor. On the gas sensor diagnostics web page, you can see the real time value is increasing. Wait until the real time value comes near to our span value. For the CO500 ppm sensor, I will wait until the real-time value goes around 250 ppm. For more information, check our user manual. Once the real-time value is near to the span value, then I will click on the new calibration button available under the calibration section. This will open a pop-up window and ask for some information such as gas manufacturer, calibrated by NIST, lot number, expiry date, and etc. Now I will write all this information. This record will be used to generate a calibration PDF. As you can see, the gas sensor started calibration. 
now you now we will wait for the progress circle to go 100%. Once the calibration is completed, we'll turn off the regulator and remove it from the gas calibration bottle. Now, you can see a span calibration PDF on the calibration table. One visual check is the status message on the diagnostics page. This should show a normal operation. One important thing is to note is to connect the protective cap back onto the gas sensor. And that is our gas sensor calibration using the front keypad. Thank you for watching.